Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Channel BK. My name is Brian. Welcome to another movie review. This one is for The Stanford Prison Experiment, starring Billy Crudup, Ezra Miller, Ty Sheridan, Olivia Thurlby, and a bunch of other great up-and-coming actors. Obviously, the cinema spoiler show. I'm not really going to talk about too many in-depth things. I might talk about one big thing in sort of the spoiler section, but other than that, Here's the normal review. So the Stanford Prison Experiment is a film based off the actual Stanford Prison Experiment, which took place in 1971. A man by the name of Philip Zimbardo, or Dr. Philip Zimbardo, who sort of does this experiment where he brings in college kids for a pay a day, and from one to two weeks, they want half of them as prison guards, half of them as prisoners, and sort of the psychology of what happens when you're put in a certain type of role, how you adapt, and all that sort of stuff. And I've heard about it. It's one of those things that I think if you are into stuff like that, it's sort of this go-to standard in terms of what the actual experiment is. And obviously the idea of it focuses a lot more on authority and power and the abuse of it. And I was really excited about this movie just as a concept alone, but the cast, like I said, is incredible. And I was looking forward to what this was going to entail in terms of how they were going to portray it. Now this isn't a spoiler, but apparently it's very close to the actual source material, but the ending is a little different. I'd have to actually look into that because I don't really know, like I said again, what was actually real, what was fake, but apparently from what they said, the majority of it was stuck to the script as closely as it can. Kyle Patrick Alvarez, who directed this film, apparently wanted it to be like that. And it very much feels that way. There's really not that much music. There's only a couple spurts of it. The cinematography makes you feel very claustrophobic, even though the space is actually very claustrophobic. It gives you sort of that tight-knit feel, and also just the acting and the portrayal. It is, at times, a very kind of disturbing movie. Like, in that kind of shocked me, because there's a couple instances here and there of things that are either done to the prisoners or are forced upon or this and that, or the intensity of certain things going on, and it is a very intense, crazy watch. And that's one of the things that's very interesting about this movie too, is the psychology of every character in this film. Because half the time, you kind of like somebody, then you hate them, then you like someone and you hate them, but then you always go back to the idea of what would I do in that situation, you know? Like if you were the prisoner or you were the guard. And I think that's probably the most interesting thing because it seems like instead of it being about mainly what's going on in the experiment or what's going on in Philip Zimbardo and his team's lives or them documenting it, it kind of is just a segue of these individual people, some of them we know, and some of them we obviously somewhat know if they say their names, but for the most part we know them as a prisoner number, and sort of their trajectory of how are they adapting, are they actually good in real life, how is that all working together, are they changing their views, what's going on, and that's probably the most interesting part of this movie, and because I feel like the whole time you feel like it's very realistic, and I think it feels that way for a lot of moments. And a lot of very interesting things are brought up, obviously near the end of the movie. I'm, I won't get into those here. But sort of the questions of why certain things happen and why there was nothing to stop certain acts, which is a very interesting topic when you watch this film. Oddly enough, this film kind of is a lot like Ex Machina, that came out this year where it's kind of like the day one, day two, and it kind of goes through. And it's sort of, in a weird way, I don't know if this was just kind of whatever filmmaking. I don't think this was the case because I think this was a great movie. I felt like the pacing was kind of a little slow, but I think that was good because it kind of showed a very long gated tale of what was going on. And some of the times it was more focused on one section of the experiment or in a way either them behind the scenes or the actual hallway where they turned it into a prison. And sometimes it's the other way around and sometimes it's kind of a good mixture of both. And there's a lot of really interesting elements that I never learned happened during the experiment in terms of like what they let the prisoners do and other little things here and there. But other than that, it's really interesting to sort of see Philip Zimbardo's purpose behind it because I think a lot of it gets fulfilled and obviously he's sort of doing that now. He's really focused his work 
on this sort of psychology and the abuse of power, which is really interesting. But I think, again, overall, at the end of it, it becomes something that's way too intense. Again, I won't spoil it if you don't know certain minute details, but things don't obviously go according to plan, so there's that. But now let's get to the acting just real, real quick. Everyone I thought was phenomenal, especially, you know, people like Ezra Miller, Ty Sheridan. Michael Angiarano, I believe that's how you say his name. I know I probably butchered it. He played sort of the cool hand Luke guard, who's kind of one of the main, who's one of like the three main guards that are sort of the main heads when they switch in terms of their shifts. I thought he was great. Ezra Miller's great. Ty Sheridan, I think I already mentioned, is great. Billy Crudup was also really good. It was actually kind of scary when I like saw him with all the stuff on and the hair, and I was like, wow, he actually kind of looks a lot like him. And then Olivia Thoroughberry for kind of the role she has. And Thomas Mann, who is in Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl, kind of has an appearance in this as well. And like I said, there's a lot of great up-and-coming actors who I think are all going to be very well-known very soon. But I think everyone worked very well with each other. And again, it just was such a fascinating watch. I think it got a little bit too intense at some parts and like I said maybe the pacing was done a little bit intentionally. Not to say I'm taking a big mark away from the movie because of the pacing because I think there'd be sometimes for for a split second I kind of question like okay maybe they're like okay they cut to this part. So maybe I feel like that could have been a teeny bit like stripped. Overall I actually thought this was a phenomenal movie. It was so intriguing to just watch it and it's one of those things where as you're watching it you kind of don't think anything of it I thought so where it's like okay this is just kind of like okay they're doing this to just do this but when you really start to see the psychology of them at the end and other little details here and there it starts to become very interesting in seeing how a lot of them approach because they also bring in somebody who went to jail to sort of help them with the experiment and it's interesting to see his place and sort of how he ends up at the end of it as well but I mean overall I don't think I'm gonna have really any spoilers to talk about I don't really think there is any but yeah I thought this was an incredible film I really enjoyed myself and it's a hard watch at times but I thought writing acting cinematography all that was stellar so if you guys saw it what did you think hopefully you guys see it I know it's opening a little bit wider finally or you can check it on demand what you think of all those elements did you actually hate it more than me or like it more than me leave it all in the comments below if you liked please like and please subscribe if you want more movie reviews as well as music and television reviews original stuff hopefully coming soon raw discussions every now and again thank you guys so much for watching thank you for tuning in the channel BK peace out guys